today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's Week 18 of the NFL of EA Sports. We'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the New England Patriots. <laughs> With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point, but boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how important this game is. Win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is the most magnificent bird, Buck Beak speaking to you today and in today's video I'm back at it with some more Madden NFL and this is going to be the week 18 regular season game between the New England Patriots and Los Angeles Rams and I had been meaning to get this out a couple of weeks ago but there's just been stuff that has been going on and I'm finally now able to, to get around to it, you know, and there's a reason that um, this video is going to be a lot shorter than the other previous NFL Madden videos I've released. Well, this game is another shutout, but it's a really low scoring game. So, you'll see what I mean as we go through this. So, let's see what happens on this third and five. Now, Jones. They want to throw it. Okay. Got that pass to Hunter Henry for the first down. Well, plenty of yardage, a 12-yard pass there. He's been so brilliant this year. Worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass catcher, tight end, or wide receiver that has taken home the MVP trophy. And the best receivers I've talked with, they know that stat, and it drives them crazy because they understand that without a quarterback, they don't make the plays that they make. They also don't feel like they get enough credit for Feeling out something that throws the quarterback's man. Absolutely. And you know what? I don't know what that was during the intro between the Denver Broncos, Kansas City, and let me just say, I don't know what that was between the uh, Buffalo Bills, Tennessee Titans, Kansas City Chiefs, and Denver Broncos and it says divisional round no I don't that's got that's got to be a glitch because as you can see down there at the bottom of the screen it clearly says week 18 we still are in the regular season this is just the regular the final week of the regular season next week will be the wild card and I will also have 
uh, uh, the Patriots wild card game next. And then also, I do want to record the Pro Bowl as well. So I have a couple more games I got planned after this one. Okay, we are back at it, and the Patriots ended up punting the football to the Los Angeles Rams. So this is the first time that the Rams are going to have the football in this game. So let's see what they can do with it. First carry now for the Memphis man, Daryl Henderson. And this will be a gain of right around three from the seven out to the ten yard. Uh oh, a knee cartilage tear. Ooh, that doesn't sound too pleasant. Excellent a week ago in the win over Pittsburgh. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game, and I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one. But seven? That seems almost impossible, but we watched it happen. Second and seven. Oh, you're holding on to the football too long, man. You just got sacked in the end zone for a safety. Oh, man. That was pretty bad by the Rams, by Matthew Stafford. But the Patriots are leading 2 nothing very early on in the first quarter. Wow. What bad luck for the Los Angeles Rams there, but good for New England's defense. Okay, we are back at it, and as you can see, we are early in the second quarter, and the score is correct. It's not a glitch. It's not a bug. It is two, not three, not seven, but two to nothing. Thanks to New England's defense sacking Matthew Stafford in the end zone in the first quarter for a two-point safety. And the Rams have the ball in the second quarter. Can they get it together or will things continue to go wrong for them? D on third down. To throw is Stafford. Uh, you look at that, holding on to the football way too long again. And the Patriots have the football once again. Wow. Not only did he give up a two-point safety earlier, but now he's fumbling the football. Man, really good defense. This might be New England's best defense performance all year. Patriot offense. So far they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not okay, we are back at it. And as you can see, we are getting close to the two-minute warning in the second quarter. And yes, the scoreboard is still correct. The Patriots are still leading it two to zero. And there's probably there's a reason for that. See, with it being the final week of the regular season, the Baltimore Ravens already won their game earlier against the Washington football team or the Washington Commanders. So it's pretty much impossible for New England to get the number one seed. Because Baltimore and New England, they met they met face to face in an earlier matchup, and Baltimore won that matchup. So even if New England and Baltimore end up with the same record, Baltimore would win that tiebreaker, essentially giving Baltimore home field advantage. So, you know, New England's thinking is if they can win this game, great. If not, it's not a big it's not a big deal because we can't get the number one seed anyway. So that's their mindset. They just want to run the clock out, get to the playoffs. That's their mindset. So let's see what they do on this drive. They begin with a shell on the ground. Nice little run there. Well, he had it, but I don't know why he cut back there. Ground for him so far. And we 
we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Okay, we are back at it and we are beyond the two minute warning. So let's see if New England can finally move and try to get some kind of score. I don't know. Let's see what they want to do. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. Not able to get this one across the 45 before he's Wow, look at that. 10 of 10 for passing for 59 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions. He's thrown for more yardage than that, but... Los Angeles, uh, their defense has actually been pretty good throughout this game. It's just their offense sucks eggs. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Looking to throw, Jones. Nice. Wow, that was very good. Even better than the last throw. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, they run with Michelle. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run. Okay, we are back at it. And as you can see, the Patriots have took the clock all the way down to 30 seconds. And they are going to try to kick this field goal for a possible five zip lead at halftime. I know it sounds crazy, but like I explained just a little while ago, New England, you know, if they were to win this game, great. But by winning, they can't get the number one seed because Baltimore already has the number one seed locked up because New England and Baltimore met up in a matchup earlier in the season and Baltimore won that game by a score of 26 to 25 so Baltimore would automatically win that tiebreaker but let's see if they can get the field goal nonetheless and go into halftime with an odd 5 nothing lead The Patriots are going into halftime with a 5 nothing lead. Yes, this is real crazy. It's very rare that you see a score like that. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at... Okay, guys, we are just about to wrap this up. And as you can see by the final score, this is the legit final score. The Patriots are going to win this game 5 nothing. The Rams couldn't even get six points. Like, that's, that's pretty bad from their, by their offense. But that shows you how good New England's defense played very well today. And like I said earlier, I think New England had in their mindset, you know, if we can win this game, great. If not, no big loss. Their offense didn't try. They definitely could have tried and put up way more points than this, but they were just 
worried about running the clock out and getting to the playoffs. While Los Angeles, this will be their last game of the regular season as they had no shot of getting to the playoffs anyway. But New England is like, okay, we just we want to be ready for the playoffs, you know. And great, if we can win this final game, that's great. If not, oh well, we're going to the playoffs either way. And they ended up winning this game by an odd score of 5-0. to zero. Another shutout, but a very odd score to finish. And as you can see, they took the football four times. They took away the football four times. And apparently Los Angeles took it away from us once. But still, as you can see, that didn't do... That really didn't have any bearing on the final score at all. They couldn't even get a score. That's or a touchdown, field goal, nothing. But yeah, there was a reason that this video is going to be really short and I practically showed nothing of the second half because nothing happened that was worth recording. You know what I mean? And hopefully soon I'll be back with the New England Patriots wild card game. I'm not sure exactly who they play. I just got to look through my footage. And that game will be next, followed by the Pro Bowl. Then the new season will start, and I'll have gameplay of the brand new regular season starting at the beginning within the next, maybe the next couple months, maybe less, something like that. But yeah, that is going to do it for me for today. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and for your continued support. And I am Buck Beak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. And until next time, bye guys.